Hey everybody, I'm Marie Bard Curtis of the Quilted Poodle. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Quilters Creative Touch Club of East Lansing. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Toa Bobbin Case Tension Gauge in order to get perfect tension every time. So check the description box below for a link to where you can purchase the Toa Gauge and also for other videos on the Toa Bobbin Gauge. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you won't miss a video upload. All right, let's get started. The first thing you needed to do before you could become a successful long arm quilter is learn how to get your bobbin tension correct. This is probably the best thing that I ever came across in learning how to, to get my tension correct. It's the Toa Bobbin Case Tension Guide. So you put your bobbin case in here, thread your thread through here and pull it out the side and then adjust the tension. For the Juki machine, this is what my bobbin case looks like. It's for an M class bobbin. And then on the inside, you can see that it has a little spring. So if I'm using a bobbin that I've wound myself on my machine, I will leave that spring in there. But if I'm using a pre-wound bobbin, I'll take the spring out. And in fact, I purchased two bobbin cases, one that keeps the spring inside of it and the other where I've removed the the spring. When I'm trying to remember how to place my bobbin in the bobbin case, I always hold my bobbin where it's looking at me and my thread tail is coming off to the right. In other words, it looks like the number nine. And then I will take my bobbin case, place my bobbin in there like that, and thread it out through the side. Then I'm going to place my bobbin case inside of the Toa bobbin case tension guide. The clip always goes to the top and you place it inside of the Toa gauge and you should hear it snap when it settles into place. So the clip is going right there to the top. Your thread goes under the guide, over the guide, and then around and through the other guide so that you can pull it off to the side. I'm just a little bit over 200. So what I'm gonna do is make some adjustments to that tension. What you will see on the side of the bobbin case are two screws, one large and one small. We will adjust the larger screw. And what you wanna do is turn to the right or righty tighty to increase the tension or lefty loosey to decrease the tension. And what you want to see is that red indicator move consistently to show your tension. I think I'm right at 200. So if I'm satisfied with that, I will just take my thread tail and snip. Now I'm ready to put my bobbin in the machine and hopefully I will be somewhat very close to perfect tension. And perfect tension is probably described as having your top thread and your bobbin thread meet somewhere in between in that quilt sandwich to make that lock stitch. And when you're first starting out trying to get your tension correct, I would always start out with two different color threads, different color on the top and bottom probably the same manufacturer and of course the same weight of thread because that just gets you closer to the place that you want to be and my experience has been once you figure out how to get good tension you never have a problem with it again pull the clip out and that would allow you to pull out your bobbin with your bobbin case and your bobbin You can then place it in your machine. And for the Juki, the orientation is this way with the top of the clip going to the right. And when you place it in the machine, you should hear it click. After making the major adjustments with your towel gauge on your bobbin case, 
The only other thing you'll have to do is to make some adjustments with the tension knob on your long arm quilting machine. But unlike your domestic sewing machine, where you make very minor adjustments, on the long arm machine, you may have to make one or two full revolutions of your tension knob in order to get your tension just right. It's always a good idea that once you finish your adjustments with the TOA gauge on your bobbin case, to do a test sew, just to make sure that there aren't any additional adjustments you need to perform. This test sew can be performed in the area just to the right or the left of your actual quilt in the excess batting and backing area. If you need to do any additional adjustments after the test sew, you can do those on your long arm with the tension adjustment knob. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. And when you place it in the machine, you should hear it click. And if you have not heard that snap click into space, into place, you probably are going to have some problems. You will have problems. Everybody has problems. <laughs> it's always a good idea that after you finish your adjustments with the TOA gauge on the bobbin case to check your actual Tension. Blech.